Dude, you guys just, without blowing smoke, because of your health, you just continue to elevate. We're so proud of you. Thank you so much, man. It's, yeah, I feel, I feel like that's, that's how it feels on our end too. Like it's always felt like healthy growth, just like up and up and especially in terms of how we kind of build on our music creation and what we put out. And yeah, it really means a lot to hear that because that's definitely how it's felt on our end as well. Has it been like from the, the singles you guys have dropped so far, mm. has the response towards the music been what you thought it would be? Because obviously it's not, it's not the exact same sound you've always had. There is progression there. Mm. Has it been the response you expected from people? Has it been more positive, more negative? I think it's been like, honestly, a pretty fair game so far. Like I really, the most important thing about this record to me was to not observe that too much. It was to more just let this thing breathe and be itself because that's kind of the whole theme of the record. I think this this one was more essentially for myself more than it was for anyone else. And it's, that's kind of how it feels still, which is awesome. Like I, I think like, I really obviously always appreciate like the words that people leave behind and stuff on that on just comments or whatever and feedback and everything. But yeah, this record was just important in terms of just an amalgamation of everything that we've been doing the past few years and finally putting that all together and then just came at the perfect time to, put my mind into a piece of work at the most crazy it's ever been because of just everything that's been going on in my life with health issues. And I think stepping into that studio and creating something like this is really just, yeah, like just leaving like a little bit of myself into the ether. And I think like for the first time in my life, I truly feel like as an artist, I have like done something. I like, we're all going to die one day, but I feel like, this kind of can live on forever. And this is just something I'm really proud to kind of call just a part of me and a part of our collective. Like this is just, I don't know, the most truest vision and most honest version of ourselves that we've ever had. And yeah, it's, it feels really special to have that. And I know people will like it. People will not like it. That's just general how everything works, but yeah, yeah. yeah, it just, all of that aside, I'm just so stoked to have, this like art out into the world because i don't know for the first time in my life i've always been worried about statistics and about all of that sort of stuff but for the first time i just don't give a fuck and that's the most beautiful thing of it all very free <laughs> yeah that's yeah. Fucking awesome i'm a it's free like, man. <laughs> it, i know you said now like earlier that this is an amalgamation of everything we've ever done and you know like to say that sort of thing and to say you know what i'm about to say it does sound like the most cliche by the numbers comment that every band makes but this album really is an amalgamation of every sound that you guys have ever had as well as that progression into like the various different territories and sonic sounds and and even like vocal stylings and things that you guys have touched with especially over the eps yeah i think you've done such a good job of actually getting like a real balanced amount of all of that in there which was one thing that really surprised me because I was like well where are they going to go but I'm like oh this sounds like it could fit with old void or this sounds like it could sit on the industrial EPs you know that's it man like I think the idea was we didn't want because altogether at the end chronicles once you put all the EPs in you had that kind of record feel but um I think we wanted to avoid with the album um having people being able to like okay i could see this on ep1 or ep2 or ep3 we wanted to kind of put it all in together so it would just feel like a great healthy mesh of all of those influences and yeah that's the most that was the most fun part about it i think like we just really i don't know it was really healthy like we obviously went back to sam um basal promotion grow for this record and we a very good friend of ours and we did the first record with him that we ever did and it fucking stunk so we thought what better way to write the best <laughs> record we've ever written to go back to that man because we're all out with a vendetta we're all back with a vengeance and we know it needs to be good stakes are high you know <laughs> but um no it was just a really really awesome experience because it just all he knows what the fuck this band is he's been with us for the 10 years and i couldn't think of a better person to trust with like helping assist that vision and yeah he just helped us nail it and just kept us comfortable and kept us real and honest and that was the most important part of it all 
Has there been anything on there that as you've showed to people so far that has been like continuous, like this is everyone's favorite standout track or this has been a song that surprised everyone the most? We've had a lot of tears on beautiful things, which is a fun one. Um, and otherwise, I the most the fantastic part about this record was how hard it was to choose singles. Oh, cool. Mm. Yeah, we were just, yeah, we we always knew Empty would be there, but everything else we felt was pretty much free game because we just love it all so much. And yeah, we had a actual very hard difficulty like picking up like what was going to be next and how to place it all. But yeah, I think as a collective, my favorite, like fuck a single, my favorite thing is just this album in full, just front to back. Cool. Yeah, little pocket rockets are just, yeah. It's a very easy album to put on and then forget to change. And I mean that in the best <laughs> way possible. I trained the other day and I had friends out training with me and we listened to it three times through before. I was like, oh, fuck, I should probably change this. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to burn you guys out on something too quickly. And they're like, oh, I'm still really enjoying it. And I was like, well, that's a really good indication of the, the album that it's like, it is able to be like front to back mm. on repeat. And that's still good. like, yeah. So good test run. Yeah, that's the way I test all the albums. <laughs> Train to it, see how it goes. But yeah, the fact that I got three times through, I was like, oh, I probably should change this right now so I don't kill that's, myself. That's how Nathan me. tries to get our friends' bands like more, you know, fans by just bludgeoning them to death with it, listening over and over. <laughs> strapping them down yeah I, I love that i have no context of you saying this was like at gym or anything this is just yeah. you in a room making people sit down and like tying them. don't <laughs> talk get back to me in 55 minutes it's like and then fucking... you're just like oh wait we've played this three times in a row time for a change guys just like, me rocking out in the please corner please. by myself it's like a fucking pow camp with this guy yeah. yeah. <laughs> i was making them hurt too yeah. so yeah that is true oh my god <laughs> hey um you did mention before as well about trying to not pay attention to comments and things like obviously we know that the metal course he means your messages every time yeah, you text well, him it's like <laughs> <laughs> jack 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 just over and over are you getting these what john <laughs> <laughs> dot 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 <laughs> no but like you know and we we know how sort of um flippant people in the metal core scene can be are you what's going to be your approach when the album does drop like obviously by the time we drop this album's dropped what's what's your approach then because it's obviously it's a body of work you're extremely proud of it's noticeably a very very personal album for you yeah. like you that shit comes through the lyrics like hot knife through butter man so and i think that's great but is there any fear of that leaving you more vulnerable to people's reception of it because once you start seeing comments like this is fucking great this is fucking great this and then the more you read, the more chance there is of seeing the dickhead comments. For sure. I think in a sense, yes. I think I've already seen like a handful, just not necessarily about this record, but just in the past few years. And I don't know, it's definitely like, definitely helps and hardened. But I think like, I don't know, I'm just in a very healthy state of mind at the moment where that stuff doesn't really, it doesn't really hit me like it used to. And I think that all comes tied in with like not caring about the numbers anymore and that sort of thing. And yeah, I think you're always going to cop something here or there. And that just comes with growth. Like the more people you're exposed to, the more chance you're going to have a couple of people like not on your side. And that's so fine. Like that's just, yeah. but yeah, I don't know. Like this is, I think my ethos for this is just treat it like it's the last thing you're ever going to release. Like this is treat it the next few months or this album cycle is just, that's it. Like you're going to release this album and then that's the lot. And then just, yeah, like, whatever comes out comes out like i'm not going to be an asshole or a dickhead to anything but yeah i don't know it's it's fun like i think making people question it sometimes is a bit of fun for me like i don't know like you see like uh, some comments are fine you can take on board feedback but yeah you do see some unnecessary ones but maybe i can make them think about it a little more if i feel like it i don't know yeah <laughs> i saw a, a quote from jesse from stitchy guns he's like if everyone likes what you're doing you're doing something wrong yeah, I was like, that's a great statement because it is. You can't just have everyone like it because otherwise you've just been too plain and there's nothing to question and nothing to make people feel. So I think, well, I'll yeah. never have to worry about that. You <laughs> <laughs> I'll never have to worry about that. <laughs> if I mean, no one likes you, you're doing something wrong. Yeah. That's the <laughs> that's the thing, dude. I think that's that. It's a good thing because you're obviously doing something different that hasn't 
been like, I don't know, like that's a spot on quote, to be honest. Like it just creates like a feeling that it hasn't, either it hasn't been done before. It's something that person hasn't experienced before. And if we're not going out creating mm. questions about stuff and like exercising conversation, then there's no point. If you're just putting out a stale piece of bread, that's just going to sit there and go even more stale then I don't know, there's not much enjoyment in that. And I yeah. think just, yeah, creating the questions and creating the conversations is one of the more exciting parts of creating art. So I'm all for it, honestly. Like, I'm happy to see anyone absorb and anyone take it on. Just, yeah, honestly, I like it. I really do like it. I just think I just try to keep it to the side and remember what's actually important and not let that yeah. get to my head. Yeah. The album's still as aggressive as ever. Like, you, there's no loss of aggression mm. or angst or passion there, which... I think that's where I think a lot of metalheads come to fear being like, oh, they're changing and they're still going to be as heavier. They're still going to have this. Yeah. I feel like, and again, we're going to bless folk, but vocally, you sound better than ever. Like you, <laughs> your heavy vocals are as heavy as they've ever been, but you're also got a little angel voice going on now and very pretty. <laughs> Has you, that been a, like a lot of work in the background for you to get your vocals to where they are now? Um, Not particularly, funnily enough. I think those the that vocal style um when we tracked empty for the first time that was the first time i'd tried anything like that like okay. that was that was just the first time i'd ever like made that noise out my mouth and we were like all right let's sit with this and um, <laughs> ended up being a bit more like prevalent throughout the album which is awesome and yeah i don't know that's something that i can just it's just like adding tools to your arsenal like yeah part of the fun johnny and um yeah it's football for those you playing at home <laughs> it's just fun like it's i don't know it's just something that we've always done each release is add something different into the fold and i think as long as we're doing that then we're encouraging progression and like feeling like we're i don't know dangling our feet off the ground a little bit and it feels exciting you know like i don't want to be putting out something just feeling safe and solid i want to be a bit like toey is to if it might be received differently or it might be new and yeah, I don't know. It's just nice trying all these new things and just keeping that in mind. It's you guys have clearly had that attitude for a while though. Yeah. You can see it in everything from your sound to your aesthetic. For sure. Like, I think like we are like always developing as human beings and emotionally maturing and all of the sorts. And it's just really reflects through our music. I think that we, Put out because at each time it just shows a different side of us or a different new skill set or technique or new set of ideals like it's just been really fun to just i don't know that's the most exciting part about being with the same people for 10 years because we've just all been growing yeah. together at the same time and we know that's true just like influence on one another and not just like new people coming into the fold and like a revolving door of a group or an ensemble it's actual our brains just kind of all our fucking microbiomes all combining and just hive mind situation going on exactly. but you're, you also have that like that trust and support in each other as well which makes venturing into these you know new decisions new yeah. you know sounds all that sort of stuff makes absolutely. it so much easier absolutely man i i cannot believe i see bands like doing these like massive touring circuits and i don't know it, it's weird seeing like all these new people brought into the fold and it's I, I always wonder what that's like behind closed doors because we've just had the privilege of doing it with uh, like uh, people closest to us for this long that it just yeah. feels like so natural and just, yeah. But it's it's an amazing way to do it. I couldn't think of any other better way to do it, to be honest. Heck yeah. Can we and, ask him difficult questions about the album soon? Uh, i got one more question first. Okay. I want to make oh, him yeah, sweat. Oh, yeah, you can get going. I want to make him sweat. Be a dickhead. Get it out of the way. <laughs> All right. I want to know. Yep. Off the album. Hard question. All right. Which one gun to your head would you cut if you had to choose one? And which song are you most looking forward to playing live for the first time? Which one would we cut? I would I would say Angel, but I think it deserves its place on the back half of the album just because it's been important in the lead up. But in terms of songs we wrote in the studio for this record like in that one big session was probably be i don't know i'd love to have neurotic in a different um sort of world like i'd love to put that out 
as a different part of Vov or a different project, perhaps. Okay. He's a bit of an outlier on the record. It's like a bit yeah, more okay. of like a kind of Manson-esque kind of take. And yeah. It's, it's got a fun kind of weird, like, 90s fucking... Not I like that though because yeah, I don't I think it, it. Yeah. I don't think it doesn't fit. I feel like it's and you've always done this in the music. There's like here's a taste of what we might do next. Like yeah. that's the way I envision it. I don't see it being out of place. I just see it being like a little like Easter egg, like a Marvel. I like movie. that it you like that. I think putting it early on in the album is a bit of a breath of fresh air as well. I it's hard to take off anything because I love all these tracks as much as the other. But yeah, that one was just a that one is exactly what you just said. I'd like a fun like little here's what we might do next kind of little teaser in there and yeah you had a very rational answer for that which yeah. i like yeah. some people go ah oh, i don't know this one maybe because i hate myself <laughs> <laughs> no like straight up this is my favorite like piece of work we've ever done i couldn't throw any shade on anything on this record just because it's so special and i just love it so much so cool. it's a tough question. it would probably be angel to be honest there was the worst part is we did cut tracks off this we yeah. have like we had three more songs there that just I don't know maybe you will, one day we'll see the light of day. Deluxe, side. deluxe reunion, yeah, deluxe. Oh, maybe maybe. Special but final. <laughs> there's a lot of fun there, and there's yeah, there's stuff that's yeah. I think we we ended up trying to make this album a bit more PG in a sense. Like we kind of trim the fat in sense of like interludes and like weird little b-side kind of tracks and they had one track that was just him saying fuck on repeat (laughs) (laughs) it went for five minutes (laughs) (laughs) and that was just me in the car ride home (laughs) and that would that would have been the one you're just like looking forward to playing live the most just you standing there at kudos (laughs) arena going fuck 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 (laughs) That's the intro. Don't give it away. <laughs> yeah, the album's not out yet. Man. That's like the the Blink One Eighty Two Family Reunion. It's like yeah. a joke track, and they have to play it all the time yeah, now. It's like a yeah. big thing for them. That's so, what you want. Yeah, well, dude, we're so pumped. We're we're glad now that this interview is out. That it's out in the world and people can hear it because we've been sitting on it for a little while with everyone else, and mm-hmm. we're we're very proud of you. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that, you guys. It's um, it's been a pleasure, kind of. I don't know, kicking this off and when we started kind of re-maneuvering the band into this new phase and yeah. starting the channel all simultaneously. It just, it's been nice kind of growing together. We snuck our way yeah. into your life and we're not we leaving, baby. And now For you real. have to see us all the time. I hey, love ju- it. Just, well, we do too as well. We genuinely love catching up with you guys. Like, you know, we say this all the time on the channel. We've been lucky enough with what we do and the sort of stigma that can come with press and things like that. We've been really lucky to be let so closely into a lot of bands safe place you yeah know, we treat like, them all so good yeah exactly yeah we promise them all sorts of nice things and we just annoy them but no <laughs> so it's it, it's definitely because you, you know you always want to see bands you love succeed you know especially in the stolen music that you love but when you see people that you've got to realize are genuinely good people making great art to see them succeed in in this sort of ways is just really nice it's really yeah it's really cool well deserved we're proud of you and we think you deserve everything you've got coming to you as long as it's always good likewise (laughs) well it's just yeah it's always a pleasure and i know it's like it's so it's still so similar like in both the things that we do like you guys have just created a beautiful format of art and like a platform for it all and it's just awesome seeing it grow and just flourish and i i love it i still see like the original fucking react video to year of the rat in my head and how far it's come yeah, to wow definitely on wow. both sides man it's awesome and it feels so full circle to do this in the same loop you know it's like yeah, a nice, like yeah. part of the same hamster wheel we're so excited to see you. I think we forget person, how long we've been doing this. Now. Dude, when you just said you're the battle, it's like, oh man, that was <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> I guess because exactly. we, you do so many, like we, there's, I think there's something like 1500 songs we've done on the channel so yeah. far in terms of like oh, covering. Yeah. And so we get things, I'm like, have we done this band before? And then obviously we have guys where we've got like, we've built friendships and there's stuff that we do on repeat, but mm. artists that might release me every three years comes out. I'm like, I don't remember doing this. And I look up and we've done four videos in an interview. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep track of especially out like of australia i think that's easy that's to... exactly yeah also yeah. just before you go uh you mentioned uh 
the Manson thing before. Now that he's back, he's got to be due to come to Australia soon. I want to manifest because we've done this in the past for bands. I don't think there's any band that deserves to support that artist and you guys. I think that would be a perfect fit. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'd love to see that. It would be fucking crazy. I mean, I, I'm very like, I just don't know what the fuck is happening with that dude and like the past few years. But I was, yeah. I was honestly shocked to see like music fucking coming out again like it's it's good too it's fucking crazy man like i it's on like nuclear blast is it yeah, yeah. i was like yeah shocked yeah. shocked to be honest but yeah fuck i'm okay with that. i mean he's probably due that's the thing yeah that's true i uh, did well we, we'll see you in like two short weeks which is very exciting fuck, that's so soon uh can't wait to celebrate in person with you i'm fucking pumped i'm so is it what date does it come out? Is it Sydney show the album comes out? The Brisbane show. So like Brisbane show. It was originally first night until, but I think they added a date on like the Wednesday or something. So we've got okay. a night off to celebrate and then comes out on the uh the Friday night of that parkway tour on the Brisbane. Cool. Yeah. We will look forward to celebrating with you in person. I can't fucking wait, man. That's gonna Sick. be cool. see you soon, bud. Give our love to the boys. Legend. We'll All right. Catch you guys.